If you're anything like me, you probably have a large collection of something, whether it be CDs or DVDs or books or coins or sports cards. And I'm going to show you a free way to keep track or keep inventory of those items. I'm going to show you a way to generate barcodes for them if they don't already have them. And I'm going to show you a way to scan those barcodes into a database using nothing more than your webcam. So this is an easier way to keep track and keep an inventory of your things. Um, <coughs> that one's not mine. What you'll need to do to get started is open up a web browser and go to www.beepmystuff.com. And this is a free online application that allows you to keep track of your stuff by scanning in their barcodes using your webcam. So sign up for a free account if you don't already have one. And up in the uh, from the menu, just click on the beep option. And this is going to... Uh, uh, launch a flash-based webcam application that you can then use to scan in your barcodes. Just hold your barcode in front of it until it recognizes it. Now it recommends using a USB webcam as opposed to one built into your laptop because you can't manually focus the one built into your laptop and you may need to do that since you're holding the barcode so close. It also recommends using plenty of light and to avoid any glares. So I just went to the library option to view everything that's in my library. Now if you don't have a barcode for your item, you can go to barcodesinc.com, go to the services tab, and free barcode generator. Then click on the make a UPC barcode option and enter in any random 12 digits and click make barcode. And this will generate a barcode from those 12 digits that you entered. And now what I just did was I hit the print screen button on the keyboard and I'm opening up Microsoft Paint and I'm pasting it into Microsoft Paint. Now I'm just going to select the barcode and crop it and then print it out. Um, you can also print it from the browser but I'm doing this because I also like to save it and keep track of it on my computer that way as well. And then using the version that you've printed out you can go back to beepmystuff.com and scan it in. Um, now as you can see from the items that I just scanned in, the one that uh, I generated already represents a product that exists. So I can go to the, my library, select it, and click on edit, and then change the information to match the item that, uh, that I'm wanting to store in my library. So I can change the title, add an image, and, and things like that. Now another thing that you could do to organize your stuff is just go to the barcode generator and uh, uh, print all barcodes out for all of your items and then just cut them out and paste them to index cards with titles or to a single piece of paper. Um, so these are both cool ways of keeping track of your stuff. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.